Hey there YouTube model builders this is Tim coming at you from my work desk I'm uh, just bringing the update on the finished 1948 Chevy sedan delivery uh, by Galaxy uh, I just finished it up today uh, just about an hour ago or so and I uh, wanted to show it off here uh, as you know from my other video, I got discouraged with it and stuff and decided to like just set it up set it aside and I didn't work on it for quite a while at all and uh, You know finally I said screw it. and I'm gonna do it, you know so As you all know, let's get started into this uh, update here on the final build video as you know the de the decals split and look like crap Get down in there and zoom on it. And you can see right there that it's, uh, I fixed it to my best ability. I know the paint doesn't match very well. But, uh, you know, hey, whatever. It's just a minor boo boo like the car. You know, one of those things when you, that happens to your cars, you know. Whoops, oh shit, it looked good. And then some jackass was looking at it one day over the hood and his chain wallet scratched the, nice paint job you know so that's my excuse there um, you guys have no idea how hard it was to get these little lights little spotlights to to go to glue onto those <laughs> those things man I'm telling you what um, that visor that visor that thing is hard as crap to to, 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 to get on there evenly in a, in a good spot where it's supposed to go um, and the aerial, the antenna, You're supposed to drill a hole in the fender and put it down in the hole. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to sand it down flush on the, on the bottom of it and just glue it straight to the fender. That's what I did. I didn't drill a hole in the fender or anything <clears throat> like the model says, you, says for you to do. <clears throat> so, And then the other side, that split right there, you can see it probably looks a little bit worse actually. I don't want to focus. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. I guess the trick is to holding the camera as still as possible. Helps to be on a tripod. Um, it comes with little, like, kind of like photo etch things that are sticky for like chrome trim that you can put on it to make it a, for it to look a different option. I just use my silver sharpie for the keyholes, the door handle keyholes there. Um, this side, I when I put the glass in, I put the the little uh, vent window and the passenger side glass up. Um, I'm not really crazy about this gap in the hood right here. I guess without it though, you wouldn't be able to open the hood. It would it would it would hit, and the hood would only open like like that far or something. But <clears throat> anyway, I didn't put a license plate on it yet. I mean, it's got a license plate, there's no license, there's no nothing on it though. It just comes with that one red brake light. I'm not very happy about the fit around the back bumper, by the way, also. Um, and also, I put the bumper on the, on the frame in the back there. And then I <clears throat> realized that after I did that, I couldn't get the body back on. So I had to take the bumper back off, put the body back on, and then put the reattach the bumper. And then I found out that the way that it fit, it didn't really matter. So I took the bumper and did all that for nothing. So I'm not really happy about the way that the kit fits right there against the bumper, but you know, it's kind of got like an odd, kind of, I don't know, weird. But and as you can see, the, 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 the hood and the front fenders. And it's a different color than the body for some reason. I have no idea why. I painted them on the same day with the exact same paint. The exact same everything. Exact same pressure, exact same everything. And uh, that blue is darker than that. I don't know why, but it is. <clears throat> I think it came down to the clear, though. That's what it was. But, anyway...
Then, by the way, this is without any kind of like buffing or polishing or anything too, guys, the shine on that, you see, so there's really not a whole, whole lot of shine to it, if you ask me, but, you know, I, I didn't really want a whole, whole lot of shine, and it's got so much flake in it that I used auto air collars and I put flake like crazy in it, so, but anyway... See if I can pick it up real quick and show you the bottom. Not the hood. The hood's going to fall off. Hold on. <clears throat> there. There's the bottom of it, guys. Those are extra. Those are some extra parts I put on the inside on the on the on the seats and stuff. Um uh there's the engine. The wires came apart when I when I went to put the whole, when I went to put the fenders and the when I, the whole front assembly onto the on the model, the battery tray cover hit the wires inside and caused the wires to come up, come off the engine and stuff a little bit. So I got to reattach those, and I've got to actually add the battery to the hood, and also I've got to finish the bottom of the hood right here and add the hinges. So it's not 100%, but it's like 99, 90, I don't know, whatever. So, but Anyway, I'm going to call it done for now, because it's uh, taken forever to get it to this point, and it's pretty much done how I'm going to do it. So, And I wanted to bring it to you guys. There's there's some of you that have been waiting on this and stuff. Dr. Cranky wants to see it, I know, so <clears throat> here you are, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Stay tuned. There'll be more. Take care.